Hello my dear friends welcome to Aspire 32 and this is your friend Dr. Suresh Singh. In the last video I told you the advantages of dental loops. However, in spite of the advantages there are certain myths which people have and because of which they, they don't shift to magnification by at least dental loop. And in this video I am going to tell you few of them. The first myth is the use of dental loop is only for advanced users. This is not true. I truly believe as a teacher that the dental loop should be incorporated at the early days of second year at least in India because many times when I explain the student that this is the bevel and this is the cavo surface margin it becomes difficult for them to understand but if they can see it as closely as possible then understanding the theoretical aspect of any dental treatment becomes very easy. I also believe that once you start using the dental loop, you yourself will become an advanced user from a basic dental practitioner. The second important myth is you should always buy dental loops with light otherwise they are not beneficial. This is somewhat true. The experience of dental loops is definitely better when you buy it with good light. The cost of the good light is as equivalent as the dental loop. But I truly believe based on my experience that if you have current generation dental chairs majority of them come with very bright LED light and these can be sufficient to at least begin with the use of dental loop and you can easily work till the first molars without any difficulty and as you get used to the dental loops you can always invest in the dental light for this loops which are already purchased. The third important myth is you always need assistance with the dental loop. This is not true but if you have an assistance it's always better but if you work under microscope of course you need a constant assistant. But dental loop is something which will help you to shift to magnification and you can work simultaneously without an assistant in majority of cases. So that reason should not stop you from shifting to magnification. Now the fourth myth is you do not have good quality affordable dental loops in the market. This is not true and I know this is a very important question which you have been asking me in from my last video. Of course uh, very well known brands are expensive but their build quality and the lens quality is would be really amazing. But there is definitely one brand which I have used for many months and I can definitely recommend it to you and that is the uh, Zoomax from Oricam which uh, is very well made but the lens quality is something which I have really liked because it is bright and it doesn't strain your eyes. Oricam Healthcare is also introducing the 18th loop and uh, maybe that also can be considered but I hope to receive the unit and maybe I can give you a better review about the product. Now another myth is that if you have glasses you cannot use the dental loop. This is not right. Basically there are two types of uh, loops in the market. The first one being the TTL that is the through the lenses dental loop. They are very comfortable, very light and uh, you also can incorporate your numbered glasses in this frame but unfortunately they cost a lot. If you want to use a TTL loop with a number then the only solution is you have to wear the contact lens. However, if you want an easier solution then you can always use the flip up type of dental loops and they have a frame in which you can simply change the numbered glasses anytime whenever your power of the eye changes and that can be done in your own city from any vendor and that is not going to cost you a lot. The next myth is very important it is that people believe shifting to dental loops is very easy it is not because when you start using the dental loop you will really struggle even getting your dental instruments in your area of vision that happens because initially you are able to see a lot of area but that suddenly gets really small depending on what is the magnification you have selected but if you keep trying then you will definitely reach there my suggestion would be initially use the dental loop to do caries excavation and uh, maybe composite restoration and then when you get used to it 
you can definitely try out all the procedures under dental loop